Everything started with a dream. We dreamt of a world-class industrial complex based on the respect of men and the environment. An industrial complex where diversity is turned into synergy to create a commonwealth. An industrial complex the future generations will be proud of. In this dream, we met you and together we made it reality. Konyambo Nicol, New Caledonia. In New Caledonia, everybody had been waiting for this historical moment for many years. On April 10th, 2013, nickel flowed for the first time from the furnaces of Konyambo Nickel. Supported by the Glencore Extrata Group, 49%, and the SMSP, 51%. The construction involved an investment of some $5 billion and at the high point of construction, up to 7,000 workers from around the world. The local economic benefits were estimated in mid-2012 to be $1.55 billion. As from this year, production at the plant will increase progressively to achieve full capacity of 60,000 tonnes in the course of 2015. Everything starts at the mine an open pit mine. In production intermittently since the end of the 1880s, the Konyambo Massif is part of a chain of mountainous ranges spread along the west coast of New Caledonia. Some 20 kilometers long and 12 kilometers wide, it rises up to 930 meters above sea level. It is one of the largest and the richest laterite ore bodies in the world. Its reserves are estimated at 62.5 million tons of ore with an average grade of 2.46% that is the equivalent of 6.1 million tons of contained nickel. On the basis of its proven reserves, the life of the mine is estimated today to be 25 years. If we take into account the estimated reserves of 83 million tons of ore with an average grade of 2.5%, then the life of the mine will be at least double that. Donc là, on est en train d'extraire du minerai, donc à l'aide d'une pelle hydraulique qui charge donc les 100 tonnes. Donc les 100 tonnes sont chargées d'amener donc le minerai sur l'unité de préparation de, de minerai à l'OPP. Donc la qualité du minerai se fait directement sur les francs avec une prise d'échantillon. Donc c'est le service géologie donc qui renseigne les francs. The ore is deposited on the industrial site of the Konyambo mine, which includes a maintenance zone, a command and machine management point and a preparation area, where the ore is graded. The Konyambo mine is in production 20 hours a day, 300 days a year. Over 4 million tons of wet ore will be excavated each year, but only 3.3 million tons will be dispatched from the ore preparation unit and will be transferred to the plant on the conveyor belt. The production capacity of the open pit mine is 5 million tons of ore a year. Ici, on est à l'unité de préparation du minerai. Donc, c'est ici qu'on reçoit le minerai qui arrive de la mine à une granulométrie de 1 mètre cube, que nous réduisons ensuite à une granulométrie inférieure à 16 mm pour pouvoir le transporter vers la zone de, de mise en stock. The main conveyor belt transports the wet ore from the mine's industrial site to two homogenizing and storage areas on the metallurgical site. The conveyor is 11.8 kilometers long and is broken into two sections. At its arrival on the Vavuto industrial site, the ore is stored. Actuellement, on se situe dans la zone de stockage. Alors, on stocke le minerai qui provient de la préparation du minerai. Il y a deux convoyeurs. Donc, le dernier, c'est 11 km, une vitesse de 4 mètres secondes et d'une capacité de 700 tonnes. Le minerai est stocké ici et a une capacité de 190 000 tonnes. The ore supplies the plant seven days out of seven and is transported to the treatment plant by conveyor belts. The wet ore is then gravity fed into a crushing chamber where it is crushed by a hammer mill. It is then rapidly dry whilst rising through a flash dryer where it is dried by blasts of hot gas from a coal-fired generator. Tout d'abord, on reçoit le minerai du stocker à un débit de 2 fois 244 tonneurs. Ce minerai est à 25% d'humidité. On le réduit à 1% d'humidité. Euh, il est à 16 mm 
Après le broyage, on le récupère à 1 mm d'épaisseur, puis on le stocke dans le silo de minerai sec pour être ensuite envoyé à la pyro. This dry ore is then introduced into the calcination system by a bucket elevator. The water is eliminated with the aid of flash calcinators, within which heated gas and preheated ore are brought into contact. The calcinated ore is gravity fed into the fluidized bed reactors. The partial reduction of the iron and nickel oxides is then achieved using hot gas and pulverized coal. The finest particles of ore are heated to around 925 degrees centigrade. This calcinated material is then transformed into two DC electric furnaces of 18 megawatts, each equipped with two graphite electrodes. When the material flows out of the furnaces, it is in the form of ferronickel containing 35% nickel and 0.4% sulfur, as well as slag. The crude ferronickel at 1500 degrees centigrade is tapped periodically into ladles, which are cooled by a closed circuit system of fresh water. The ferronickel is then transported to the refining unit by an overhead bridge crane. The slag is tapped at 1600 degrees centigrade in a continuous stream into 30 cubic meter slag containers and then transported to the slag storage area. The metal is then poured onto a plate of refractory material which creates drops of metal which falls into a tank of water and solidify. The soft water used is cooled and then recycled. The wet granules are then dried in a diesel-fired rotary kiln. The final product, crude ferronickel, is in the form of granules between 3 and 50 millimeters. The plant, when operating at full capacity, can produce 176,000 tons a year, the equivalent of 60,000 tons of contained nickel. The ferronickel is stored in silos and then packaged in sacks of 2 tons which will be loaded into containers. Conyambo Nickel SAS sends the ferronickel produced from the port of Vavuto to its clients situated in Asia, Europe and North America. This port can accept deep drawed vessels loaded with material and equipment on arrival and ferronickel upon departure. Their capacity is 50,000 tons of merchandise. The quayside is 190 meters long and is equipped with all the necessary installations for discharging imported cargoes and loading the plant's production. The plant's operations are totally integrated, from the extraction of the ore to the transport of the final product, and it is equipped with all the machinery necessary to function autonomously. At the center of things is the power station. The power station comprises two production lines relayed during periods and maintenance by diesel turbines of 40 megawatts each. Its chimney is 130 meters tall. Its total production capacity is 390 megawatts. The power station is equipped with fluidized bed generators. This technology gives pulverized coal the properties of a fluid by injecting a gas that lifts it. To keep it supplied, a storage zone and a preparation unit for the coal are necessary. A protected storage zone for coal is located on site, where one million tons of coal a year will be delivered, stored and consumed by the metallurgical plant and the power station. 84,000 tons of coal will be stored on site, which roughly speaking means a delivery of 42,000 tons every two weeks. Le charbon est transformé dans l'usine de préparation derrière moi où il est pulvérisé à une granulométrie de 90 microns pour les besoins de l'usine métallurgique à raison de 1200 tonnes par jour d'une part et d'autre part il est concassé à 6 mm pour les besoins de la centrale électrique qu'il alimente à raison de 2400 tonnes par jour. The same is true for the storage and distribution of diesel. On situe en face des les deux cuves de stockage de diesel principal, donc à proximité du port de, de Vavuto, euh, dont la capacité est 18 millions de litres. Euh, nous disposons aussi de, de cuves secondaires à proximité des installations qui, qui servent donc à alimenter les, en, en, notamment les, les turbines à combustion euh, et, divers, et divers brûleurs de l'usine métallurgique. The Vavuto site is also equipped with a desalination and a demineralization plant and an industrial and domestic water treatment plant. 
Seawater is pumped from a point near the port at a rate of 3,000 cubic meters per hour. This water is used for the cooling towers of the metallurgical plant and the power station, 2,500 cubic meters per hour, and the desalination and demineralization plant, 500 cubic meters per hour. Finally, Konyambo Nickel produces 6,000 cubic meters of nitrogen gas for the purposes of rendering the operations within the plant and the coal pulverization unit and the liquid nitrogen storage unit, kept at minus 196 degrees centigrade. The site also produces liquid oxygen at minus 108 degrees centigrade, which is vaporized and distributed mainly for the refining of the ferronickel and the boring of the tap holes. It also has a compressed air unit at its disposal. Today, the dream has become reality. New Caledonia will become one of the five major producers of ferronickel in the world. Caledonia.